Now, in another sad story, two weeks ago, four Ugandan traders, among others, were shot dead as they returned from Juba. Their bodies were held back for four days as the Juba administration and Ugandan government negotiated their release from a militia operating in the area. The move has affected trade with South Sudan. Here to share with us the likely impact of the Ugandan trade with South Sudan is the Executive Director of the Federation for Small and Medium Scale Enterprises, John Walugembe. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you very um, much. We'd like to start with, yesterday we did notice a couple of trucks that crossed into South Sudan had stopped that crossing. Correct. How's that affecting trade between Uganda and South N Sudan? N so because uh, most traders and most business people doing mm -hmm. business with South Sudan feel unsafe. Mm -hmm. And this has been a trend, as you mm -hmm. know, during the, con co during the years of conflict, a lot mm -hmm. of Ugandans lost their property, mm -hmm. and the compensation process has been ongoing. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, property lost by small business operators mm -hmm. could not be verified, and therefore they could not be compensated. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to that, there has been a trend of general insecurity uh, along the border, mm -hmm. and targeting particularly Ugandans. And mm -hmm. I think the Ugandan government needs to ensure that this is addressed. Mm -hmm. Remember as a country we paid dearly for the stability of this country. We supported its liberation. Mm -hmm. We've also supported its stabilization as you know when they had a coup attempt. Mm -hmm. The Ugandan government had to send in troops. So mm -hmm. clearly as Ugandans we need to reap some of these dividends. Mm -hmm. And our government needs to be strict with you know the South Sudanese government mm -hmm. to ensure that our nationals are safe and they can do business there and mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this, uh, Uganda has been a safe space for our brothers from South Sudan over time mm -hmm. to do trade, to reside, to study. Why shouldn't that be the case with uh, mm -hmm. our counterparts? If you just fill us in, what yes. for small and medium enterprises, what's yes. the biggest effect that you're having now with that trade situation happening at the border? So the issue is that most transporters cannot take goods mm -hmm. they, they, because as you heard, most of the victims are drivers of trucks. Mm -hmm. So if a driver feels unsafe, it means they won't take the products. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that most small business owners who have been selling to this market mm -hmm. are not accessing the market because the drivers won't take the products mm -hmm. until they feel that a situation is in place that will guarantee mm -hmm. their personal mm -hmm. security. W w what steps are being taken currently? Uh, have you engaged in any conversations with the trade ministry? No, so we, are, we have reached yes. out as a federation and mm -hmm. our colleagues have also reached out to the trade ministry. Mm -hmm. We believe that this needs to be solved, not just at the trade level, but also at the security level. Because mm -hmm. now what's happening is that the poor, the insecurity along the border is affecting trade between both countries. Mm -hmm. So what we want as a federation mm -hmm. to do is reach out both to the ministries of defense, mm -hmm. uh, the ministries of security here, the ministries of trade, to ensure that there is some kind of uh, interministerial committee to address this issue. Mm -hmm. If it's not addressed, then it will ultimately affect our uh, balance of trade. Mm -hmm. As you know, mm -hmm. most business owners have been affected negatively by COVID. Mm -hmm. So if you also have a situation affecting this market, the South mm -hmm. Sudanese market, then we shall be in trouble. Remember, the Rwandese market is literally closed, closed to moment. us. Yeah, mm. So we need to ensure that uh, the situation is normalized as soon as possible. Mm. John, very finally, um, yes. if, if it doesn't normalize very fast, um, mm. are you exploring other trade options within the region where those goods could be taken? Well, we don't have many options. As you know, we are having now issues with Kenya mm. over them blocking our goods and products entering there. Mm. We are having problems with Rwanda. We, I mean, the issue with South Sudan really is not that there's a disagreement at the governmental level or there's mm -hmm. a systematic kind of approach to hinder Ugandan products. Mm -hmm. What we see is petty insecurity that the mm -hmm. government there has been unable to rein in. Mm -hmm. And I think that is where the Ugandan government can come in with support to ensure mm -hmm. that our trade routes are clear. Mm. Thank yes. you so much. We've been speaking to John Walugembe from the Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises. Let's take a very short break, but NTV at 1 returns very shortly.